Hi, I'm Bodie Pendus. Today, I'm going to show you how to take a box and make it fancy. This is my new box jig, and I just completed it. So I made a box. So this is just about an eight inch square box. Box joints. So now, in addition to adding the lid on the bottom, so I'm gonna do some inlay decorations on here by cutting of various degrees of inlays and using different colors of wood. So I have the box, I have the dry fit, I have the bottom in, I cut little dados in there in the bottom, fit it in, now we're going to glue it up, and then we're going to do our designs on the sides. Basically we want to decorate this with a couple of different methods. We're going to do inlays of other types of wood all over top of this. So with that we start to cut our wood strips that will be inlaid. Here I'm using my straight cut or taper jig and clamping the box with the uh, match fit dovetail clamps from micro jig. Second line cut, go to the third. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do one inlay from start to finish. So I have these marks on the top here, just like pencil marks. And I'm gonna have these three more lines coming down into this. So the first thing I'll do is know that this is gonna to come to there and I'm gonna take that line right there. And so this is, the mark of which I want to cut the line on. So it comes right into this point. So now we go to our straight cut or taper jig. Now I want to cut the line from here to here. So I have to set this on this jig so that saw blade will cut it directly on that line. So we're going on the outside of that there. So I'm going to turn my clamp around this way. Can have this set up in here. So we are cutting then what we're going to do is lift this up and turn it over so we can see where our line is along this board so what we need to do is probably move that over just a smidge that looks okay there and so from there we can cut it Take off our tape, and there's our line, right where we want it. So now we're gonna get a piece of our little pre-cut and glue that in. 
And once it dries, we'll trim the edges and then go on to the next two. So make the glue up of our walnut inlay. After it dries, I trim it to length. Okay, here's a box what we have so far. We have all the sides done with all the inlay. So this is one with a little uh, diamond pattern. This one here is a little sun ray. This one here is a little chaos. And this is parallel. I've cut these little strips and I'm gonna band the top of the box with that. That way it hides all the little inlay strips from there. Gives it a nice cleaner look and it'll kind of finish out the top. Okay, so I added a little banding around the top and give it a little nice finished look, basically to cover up the edge of our inlays. So now what I'm gonna do is plane this flush to the edges. I'm gonna select a variety of woods and we're going to glue these up approximately 10 by 10 square we end up cutting it to 8 by 8 so we got cherry oak walnut some gray reconstituted oak that looks like it's uh, mahogany and i don't want to trim that edge and oak a reconstituted gray, cherry, no cherry, uh, navy, and this is uh, basswood, and then we got walnut and oak. Okay, so now I have uh, my glued up top plane down so it's smooth on both sides down to a half inch. So now I can work on cutting it to size and getting it to fit. Now I'm gonna take this off cut. I'm gonna take three inches out of the middle and make a handle for the top. Now, here's our lid and that what it looks like so far, we're going to end up cutting a groove around it so it'll set down there and then we'll fix the handle to it. Now let me show you the reason why you have sanding blocks that wrap around. This is the perfect example of when to have that. So you have this lip here and you can sand both the lip and the bottom parts at the same time. And you have that sanding block wrap around. Then I'm gonna ease over the corners just slightly. I've already done the outside edges there. Put a slight chamfer on here with my block plane. Come back and sand it a little bit, make it nice and soft. And we'll need to do the underside of this as well. little mineral spirits wiped down to look for any glue squeeze out we might have missed so we can sand them off and then we're on to the finish I'm using general finishes armor seal satin for a nice clean look make for a pretty spectacular box. Man, this was a lot of fun to build. Got really creative. So if you like our build on box building, give us a thumbs up. Want to see more of our builds? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.